Performing arts sites have been dark since the pandemic hit in March. Well, News Channel reporter John Palmentary shows us one theater that's come alive to give you a free front row seat without leaving home. I know my days are coming when my soul will be set free. We have such a phenomenal asset here, this beautiful theater. Refusing to stay dark during the coronavirus pandemic, the Marjorie Luke Theater staff has flipped a switch and said it's showtime. The first concert in a virtual series starting Friday is a musician who appeared on the network TV show, The Voice. We're trying to stay active uh, so that people go, oh yeah, the Luke, there's the Luke. I, I was there six months ago, you know. So they're, they're gonna get to see the theater. They're gonna see the empty seats. But that's kind of a, that's an important part of this concert series is that we wanna fill those seats again. What makes this virtual concert series so possible is about 17 years ago when the Marjorie Luke Theater was remodeled, it was wired for these performances. And then basically turned the, the stage into a television studio. So we're shooting with three cameras. The 800 seats are empty, but the production team says the shows will connect with those who love the arts worldwide. But they also get to watch the finger work and the piano work and see someone breathing and emoting if they're doing a spoken word piece, which is even even a little more fun than being in an audience 20 rows away. Where the wind sit heavy on the borderline. By the time we're done with this series in 2021, I estimated this morning, I think over 50 artists will come through our stage and perform either spoken word pieces or instrumental music or, or vocal music. The Marjorie Luke was built in 1933 and has a rich history of talent coming out of the local community or coming here to perform. It's been part of the cultural connection that's so important in the community and even more so now. People are hungry for something to keep them balanced yeah. and we will be back. These seats will be full again. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary.